Oh yeah, see this is the fucking spot that Lula said they used to, they buried the bottom four bodies. Yes. I don't know. We are doing our last minute touch ups before we bounce. We're gonna be flying out of JFK today, so we'll see what happens. China Eastern Airlines going to Philippines via Shanghai. We'll see what happens. I have to go to Walmart and get a uh, new um, laptop bag. fix this up we are in Shanghai We're gonna transfer our flight is at 10 to go to Cebu as you can see it is 20 so it's like it's like not uh, 8 o'clock right now but I'm gonna try to get in touch with uh, my family Just tell them that I'm here and everything we will be in Cebu about 2 o'clock 3 o'clock in the morning we will then go to Burley, go to pay respects to my grandmother who passed away this uh, summer. And then um, go to our family mausoleum, probably get breakfast out there and then head over to Dumugeti, try to get on the barge. We just arrived in uh, Cebu about 3 o'clock in the morning. My brother's hanging out outside. We're going to go get our luggage and then drive four hours to Dumugeti. My brother picked me up. We are on our way to a four hour trip. So we're gonna go. I haven't been in Mactan Airport in a very long time, I have to say. It's all brand new. It looks very, very good, looks very, very clean. Oh, are they here? So we are driving to Barili, my dad's hometown. AKA Vergara country. I don't think we can we, we can't go to the mango farm today because we don't have keys to the gate. So <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> kind of almost like easy on that one. We don't have the keys to the gates. Car. Look at that turkey. I thought turkeys were a seasonal thing, but no, no, that's all year round. Bodies during the war. Oh, we are in Barili. That's uh, Barili, Cebu, the municipal hall. A lot of Vergara's are here in Dumaguet, uh, Barili. A lot. Shit, really stepping up, damn. That right there, man. Yeah, Police. But yeah, Barili is where a lot of Vergara's are. We do some business up here. Oh, we are at a 7-Eleven here in Barili, Cebu. So, all you guys who say that the Philippines is nowhere close to America, look, look, check it out. Hello. So I am at my aunt's house, my dad's sister. As you can see, beautiful place, man. My uncle's put him some work here. You can really, I don't want to really go into the house, but big nice sliding door. Big ass sliding door, beautiful hardwood floors throughout. We have a lot of family, so we don't even know who, you know, everybody's pretty much related out here. Not in an inbred sense, but uh, I mean, maybe kind of. But like, um, it's more family houses right here, back there. My my aunt and my uncle, both principals around in this area, as well as the district. So um, yeah. Pure Filipino style. So you want to see? Look. What is that? You guys want to see? Look, um, see look right there. Look like it's see look. See, look right there. You got your ham si look, you got your hot dog si look. That's ham? Yeah. <laughs> and banana si look. So, we've been hanging out with uh, some family. I'm feeling a little tired, but uh, we're gonna go to the f uh, cemetery, go to the mausoleum. I'm gonna pay my respects to my grandparents, uh, especially my grandmother who just passed. So, this is Barili Cebu, aka Vergara country. A lot of Vergara's up here, like I said. Should've worn my glasses, cause it's fucking hot. As you can see, we have the, the best dirt roads here. <laughs> this is uh, clay dirt. This sucks when it's when it's raining. It's a solid house. How long have you stayed in the Philippines? Almost 10 years, right? Almost good? 10 years, coming on 10 years. My brother would stay in the Philippines longer than my sister lived here, almost. Almost. Cause my, my sisters left when they were like 13. So my brother, he's about to clock in at, at, at 10. So as you know, me and Ruby used to do hollow block business. So, 
leg on this is. Uh, yeah, this, this, will, this will go on the pressure once I hold it. Four inch blocks. Oh. It's like a bark, not, not bark like this. It's like pork and... It's like pork and... It's like pork and... Oh, and the husk, and husk. coconut husk. Yes, right. And we had like... Um, it was our like uh, wall, almost. Like this, like, like, like it was this. a husk. Yeah. My sister might run into her St. Paul friends while we're here. Maybe. Maybe. My sister left when she was how old? 14. 14 years old. My sister and my other sister are the ones that really felt how poor we were when we left uh, when we left the Philippines. And they also saw how many houses my dad uh, rebuilt. Cemetery we're about to go to, literally like 90% of the cemetery is a uh, family. Folklore is uh, our great 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 grandfather came in here, did business here in Barili. He was like one in 15 brothers. Some went to Batangas, some went to the Ilocano region, some went to Samwanga, and some stayed back here. So um, pretty much uh, uh, the town here, some of the streets are named after my relatives, Barili Cebu. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of history over here for us from on my dad's side. Okay, the cemetery right here. No Mausoleum is somewhere over here. Naid dagan na lubong ng pagkara dito ino. Right over here. Isa ka mula yung pagkaya di sin sa kalingo. Give it to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna forget. Oh, kurinti ino sa papa. Kurinti na ako ni mo sa papa. Kurinti ako na ako. Big sa tanda mo. Ano dito? The mausoleums over here. Yeah, yeah, we not. Three minutes ago. Oh, the So we are um, in. <laughs> Liluan, as you can see the view right here. There it is. We're about to get on that boat down there. I don't know if you see that boat down there somewhere. I'm getting a little tired now. <laughs> 